Alright, today we're going to do back rooms that I got sent to me by a really good friend of mine that hooked me up with playmat, cards, hollows, foils, everything. And I just wanted to say for a solitaire style solo game that this is probably one of the funnest style games that I've played. And not gonna lie, this is this is really really weird. My kids know about it. They told me about it. I know that uh, it's really creepy. I know you need twenty dice. You need fifty two card deck. You need. 30 room cards, 10 entity cards, 10 item cards, and two outcome cards, I think. You need the coin, head, tails, kind of, you know, the track for the location, for flip, for the pen eye gem, the 20 for your 20 die for sanity, and all that. Because the cards will have your sanity up here and all that stuff. Pretty much, I built this card deck for everything. I have this one person that just follows me everywhere I go. She can't, he will not allow to leave me alone. Now, I have not played this in months. Like, dead on months. Sorry. Sorry, Backrooms. I haven't played in months. I've been really busy. Y'all know that. So, I'm going to try my best to try to show y'all a good example of how this is played best way but i know you have to pretty much shuffle you have your pull pile discard pile you have to go clockwise all that kind of stuff um and i know 12 cards i know that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and six and you have to go all the way around position face up. We got a hallway, lecture hall, almond water, electric tennis ball, dead end, another hallway, smiler, and a hallway. So far, that's pretty decent. That's pretty good. That that's and you hold on to these four cards. You don't look at them. You don't do anything. So far, that's pretty good. That's a good setup. That's a good start off. It's not bad. So, look for the first available room. Start at six. First room. Lecture hall. Boom. Pretty good. Right off the bat. So, we'll go here. Two pretty decent. One item. So, we'll go... Um, we can go almond water. Like that. I think one item we'll go almond water. Uh, we can go almond water tennis ball. I don't remember if you have to pick the first one or if you can go with the second one. I don't remember. Actually, you know what? I don't think you have to pick up the first one. I think you pick up any one. So we're going to go with the tennis, tennis ball. And then you have to engage a friendly or unfriendly. But to see, there's only one. And there's Smiler, which is Smiler was found on all levels. Or found on all levels. You may be base form, which, okay. So discard in hand, which is one. Negative four. Four sanity and two. See now, this is the part that always confused me because I don't remember which one it is. So we'll say Smiler. So I think you negative four to your sanity. So he's a friendly, I think. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so we'll read it. It basically says, Smilers are found on all levels and may be the base form which all the other entities form. Fear is the group's weapon, which should look, they be paralyzed and wonder, causing them to hesitate to second guess in action. If a second Smiler enters the field of play, it is placed on the opposite position of the first Smiler. Smiler to block your path completely. Look back and the Smiler... Okay, so lobby levels. So Smiler is not a friendly. So this part, one in hand. So discard pile one in hand. So he's got two health and negative four. So I think this is where this goes down to 16. One in hand. The tennis ball does two. Which means I would have to then switch over to another room, I think. Because I think that's a four and that's a two. Like I said, you got to work with me here. Hold on. Okay, so it is 16. I'm trying to remember. One. Okay, so then I would move here. And then... Pull pile. Because you would move diagonal across kind of thing. So basically the way it would work was that. You can't cover the void. You can't do that. So pull pile. So, so it would go back up to 19. The hallways are this. You pull pile three. So you pull three. But then I think, if I remember correctly, you start. Oh, they go to the bottom, I remember now. And I think you start doing this. I think it's, I think it's only two that you do because of the two that's up there. I don't remember, which means that won't go, which means I would collect this and then I would do this. He's then gone. Which means I would then go back to hallway. And then she would be taken. And then I think she would be engaged. Which means once she's engaged, I can grab the almond water. I think, right? I might be wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. 
and then she wants almond water to let the wonder pass by. Otherwise, you might be battle doll face. And once you get that and that, you could do this. And won't she be like pass by and I can go here? But once I move here, won't my sanity go up? Why'd I put it at seven? Either way, it goes up to whatever it is and all that. Well, I know, I know the dice has numbers and you have to worry about it because if you go down to zero, you die. It goes up to whatever it is and you move that. She's taken care of. That moves up. You pull pile like one or whatever and then it goes up. And then it's like one or something and then you do that. And then you got to worry about that. But y'all get the gist of how this game works. And then you're basically, your main focus is you have to get to a certain card, which is here. Your main focus is you have to get to this on the field to where, let's say this was here. Or like right here, let's say, and I'm right here. Your main focus is you have to figure out a way to do this and then all this to where when you can move, you can move to the golden staircase. And that's your last move to where your main move is to get out on the golden staircase. And you have at least a 20 sanity and stuff like that to where you're out on the golden staircase and you've made it out. And you have no entities, no nothing. And you're pretty much... A sane person leaving the golden staircase because you don't want to leave with a zero because if you're on zero or one or anything like that you're pretty much done you're you're a crazy person you're dead and ever since i talked to him about this game and everything and my kids told me about this game this was just an absolute amazing solitaire style game and this was absolutely a genius game to be made and like I said, this is the gist of the game. This is an idea of the game. Once I actually get more back into the game, I will definitely, definitely make a full-on 100% 30-minute gameplay, 30-minute 30 30 minute gameplay of this game of my fully built deck and the deck's cards that I have up here to show this game. But for right now, you kind of get the idea just of the game of how this is played. But hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. Sorry it was so short. It's just I didn't want to get into it and tell you all the bad things and tell you like what's wrong, what's right, and all this stuff. I will tag him below to tell you what's right and what's wrong and let him fill in the spots that I've messed up. But y'all get like the little gist of the game. It's not a hard game to understand. It's not a long game to understand. It's not really long. It's really easy. It's really fun. It's very simple. I picked it up when I first started playing it and learned it within literally 15 minutes that's exactly what he told me i was gonna easily pick up and learn and like he told me it was just a very very easy quick simple and amazing game to play so definitely definitely like follow support and thank you for watching and hopefully y'all will get this game and check him out as well thanks for watching